I'm at the Engineering Technology Group. I'm with Scott Ellesmere. Uh, we're looking at the Mitsubishi uh, Spark machine here. This is the SG12S. There's some serious technology in this machine, Scott, that sets it apart from some of your competition and some of the reasons why these machines represent 33% of the, the machine tool consumption of EDM around the world. Tell us about this technology. Yeah, so when people buy a die sinking machine, uh, generally it uh, probably might, might come with, uh, let me say, standard steel technology, maybe aluminium technology. Um, there's a lot more you can do with die sinking. So, the, the, first of all, the generator, full carbide generator on board. Uh, that's very uh, specific to compact powder metal tooling industry, for example. Uh, titanium for your F1 and rally car subcontractors, uh, aerospace, Inconel, uh, beryllium, uh, uh, copper based technologies, Amcoloy 940, basically anything that you can think is used or done in the spark eroding technology industry, technologies on board. So what changes in the machine though? What, is, it, is this a hardware changes or is this all done in the software to enable you to do these materials? Because I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but there are then some spark machines that can't achieve these things as standard, is that right? That's correct. So uh, a lot of it is, of course, the R&D and the support back in the uh, Nagoya factory uh, where all the R&D work is done, developing those technologies, but also in the electronics and the generator. So the, the, uh, the latest uh, generate range of uh, generator technology, uh, we have a graphite fine adapter to reduce electrode wear on uh, graphite electrodes, very important for the molden die sector. Uh, but we also have uh, technology for super fine finishing. So something in a large surface area, for example, uh, like a, a, a mobile phone uh, or a tablet, uh, it's quite difficult to get a homogeneous surface over a large area. So there's been a lot of work done in those sectors, maybe using copper electrodes, for example. So the two key aspects I look at, surface finish and precision, you can achieve that across that spectrum of materials then, thanks to the technology. Absolutely, ab ab absolutely. Um, so we're looking at very uh, homogeneous surface finishes, mirror surface finishes in the case of maybe copper uh, electrodes, but also very low electric electrode wear, which is also very important for how many electrodes the operator needs to make. Excellent, good stuff. So if you're looking for a technology in order to do all of the materials that Scott has mentioned, then certainly the Mitsubishi SG12S is an option for you. Uh, we'll be doing more technical features on this machine, so keep tuned to MTD CNC, but this one is available here from stock.